So now look at here, what is my target? Find normal component. And normal component, let me resolve. All of you know, into 10, I got a 5 newtons. Okay? So this weight component is downward uh, 5 newtons. Okay? All of you know, don't uh, forget for a while the force. Let's de uh, decide component of weight component. So this component, all of you familiar, always 5 sine alpha. And this is called upward is R. This is called here uh, 5 cos alpha. And I have a cos alpha here, so I can keep it here. When I keep this value here, 24, so into 5. So let's see what happens. So 5 times 2, 24 over 25. I got 25 by 24 upon 5. This is my cos component. And what about this sine alpha? When I keep it here, so I get what? 7 by 5. So this becomes what? 7 by 5. How come? 7, uh, I just show you. 5 times 2, 7 by 25. This cancel, I got 7 by 5. So this is very, very clear. So I both component. Okay, now I did not resolve about the force. And all of you familiar, whenever we resolve any force, for example, we have this force is, let's say, 6. And this is alpha. So this is cos alpha, and this is what sine alpha. Same story. I'm applying this little bit rotate. It means I have two components, one parallel to plane, one parallel to plane, and one perpendicular to plane. So you can see here, this is parallel to plane, and this is perpendicular to plane. This alpha. So this is alpha, and I can say this is 0 0.6 cos alpha, and this 0 0.6 sine alpha. You can see that these two both components are parallel to each other and these are parallel. So I think I can find now easily what my target are. So can I say uh, this is R. Uh, I talk about not a parallel surface. I talk about perpendicular surface. So R up, this up and this down. So I can say that R plus 0 0.6 sine alpha is equal to 5 cos alpha and 5 cos alpha is equal oh, let me write first 5 cos alpha okay later on I can show you that so this goes this end so I got a 5 cos alpha and minus 0 0.6 sine alpha okay now replace the values cos alpha value is coming here ultimately I am getting what 34 over 5 okay what about sine alpha here 7 so points uh, okay uh, what answer comes if you check it here 0.6 times 2, 7 divided by 25, it give me 21 over 125. I think so, very, very clear. So, so let's see 25 divided by 5 and minus answer. I got my answer R equal to 4.632 Newtons. This is my first answer, right? So clear. Up till now, uh, so this is clear. Move on next one, two marks over, frictional component. When I talk about frictional component, so frictional component is what? Uh, talk about, okay, this is very important sentence you have to understand. Force is just sufficient to prevent the piece sliding down. Can I say, can I say, like force, he's pulling up, right? So he's just stopping, just stopping. It means if I leave it, what will happen? It will move down. So friction is upward. So when we say power force is just sufficient to prevent sliding down, so just about to slip down, I can say. The friction where? Upwards. So friction is upward. I will show here friction upward. So over. So can I say this F plus 0 0.6 cos alpha is equal to that? So 5 sine alpha. Reason for the system in equilibrium. Okay, it's not moving. So bring it here. So F equal to 5 sine alpha minus 0 0.6 cos alpha. Replace values, please. 5 sine alpha value is uh, 7 by 50, 25. And cos value is 24 over 25. 
I type all together. So let's see, uh, 35 by 25 and minus 0 0.6 times 24 divided by 25. And answer is coming 0 0.824 Newtons. Yes, you, I think you got the same answer, right? Clear? Nice. Let's move last part. What is asking last part? Find quotient friction. It's a very simple part. This part number two is over. Now part number third. All of you know F is equal to mu R. I'm looking for mu, so F upon R. And F is 0 0.824 by 0, oh sorry, uh, by 4.632. And answer I'm having, so 0.824 and 4.632. So answer is coming, mu is 0 0.17789, but I need always 3SF, you know it. So 0 0.178 is our mu value. I think it's very, very clear.